We're going to take a look at another customer experience transformation, uh, this time through the hospitality lens with Marriott International. Many of us have enjoyed a comfortable night away in a Marriott hotel, a Sheraton, or at a Ritz-Carlton. Founded by Jay Willard and Alice Marriott in 1927, the company remains committed to helping people expand their horizons, offering approximately 9,000 properties around the world and helping more than 700,000 employees explore their careers. Please welcome to the stage, Naveen Manga. Hi, how are you? It's great to see you. Thanks for, thanks for being here. Yeah, we were, we were comparing notes backstage among the panelists about who had the highest Marriott Bonvoy status. I actually well, thought I, I thought I was going to win, but I actually am in last place, and I'm I'm at the platinum level. And uh, but the other panelists had me had me beat by uh, by quite a bit. I, I heard medals that I didn't even know existed in terms of some of the levels that uh, that they have. So um, anyway, well, thanks thanks for being here, uh, and Thank thanks you, for you know thanks for the partnership. You know, we we've been uh, close partners, and again, um, you know, seen what you've gone through. And I'll say that the word transformation gets thrown around a lot, but I think based on the scale and scope of what you've done, it's the right word. I mean, it's unprecedented and it's ongoing. And, you know, maybe you could just help us understand from the CTO perspective, what's been the driver behind this massive digital transformation? Well, great question. First off, thank you and uh, for having me here and congratulations on another great conference. What a great conference, people. Thank you. So Mike, um, I would like to answer this question by anchoring my response uh, with our purpose. Uh, at, at Marriott, our purpose is to connect people with the power of travel. And we see three paths to win. One, we want to build the best brands and experiences in the world, and we have 30 plus amazing brands today. Two, we want to build the most loyal and engaged customer base, and we have over 200 million Bonvoy members today and 700,000 associates who serve those guests. And if you're not a Bonvoy member, please see me after the show. And lastly, we want to be in more places. So we have over 9,000 hotels across 150 geographies and countries out there that we're serving at. So um, our hospitality industry has always been about a people serving people business, and that will never change. But technology has progressed in our industry from being an enabler in the past to uh, really a driver and core to the business today. So in hospitality, for several years, we've been building software and services and systems with this philosophy of built to last. So if you look at many hospitality industries today, our central rest systems still run on mainframes. So while this longevity is impressive, what got us here is not gonna get us there. So we need a new mindset to change from built to last towards built to change. So as the business shape shifts, our technology shifts. So to realize this vision, three years ago, we've been on this amazing multi-year digital and technology transformation. The goal of the transformation is to replace our central rest system, our property management system, and our loyalty platform. But we're not stopping there. We're also building a patent-pending cloud-native innovation platform. And if you let me geek out for a minute, uh, I love the, the patent-pending part of it, is because this architecture uh, is, is three tiers. At the bottom is our platform foundation, which think about as a web scale infrastructure capability built on a hybrid cloud that has observability, pipelines, and instrumentation built into it. The next layer is our platform core. This is our noodle engine. This is where we're going to build the future hospitality innovations with a faster speed to market. And the top layer is our experience layer. This is where the magic happens. So we're gonna take this layer and build experiences that are targeted, distinguished, and personalized for our, for our customers. The beauty of this architecture is its simplicity. But the power though is in the composability of travel experiences that we deliver to our customers. So that's the vision of our technology transformation. Well, I mean, as I said, transformation is, is the right word because it's, uh, it's certainly uh, certainly massive. So uh, you're at the helm, you're driving this. Maybe you could talk a little bit more about the goals and, and, and how that you're now you know, in the midst of the transformation, how are you measuring success? Yeah, great question, again. So um, in our industry, we serve three customer personas. So we have our guests, 
We have our associates who serve the guests and we have our owners who invest with us. So let's start with the guests. So we're completely reimagining the guest experience. So I always wondered uh, when a guest come to our website, we always ask them the question, where would you like to go? Well, what if you don't know where you want to go? So we're really changing the paradigm of this geography-based search and introducing a natural language conversational search. So after the guest searches for whatever they're looking for, maybe I want to go to a beach resort with a Michelin star restaurant, $400, $500 a night. So we're going to return the results and we're going to have package all those results into an itinerary. So the guest can add those capabilities into a cart, essentially a retail-like experience, and then check out. And when this guest arrives at the hotel, we want to reimagine the arrival experience, give them complimentary upgrades when available, for you especially, Mike, and, uh, and also real-time earn. So the loyalty points deposited at the time of checkout. So lots of capabilities for guests. Next up is our associates. Our associates are the heart of the house. And for them to deliver guest experiences, they need new, modern, intuitive tools. So we're reimagining the lobby where now you're going to walk into a Marriott hotel and you're going to be greeted with a front desk associate who untethers from, the, from behind the front desk, meets you in the lobby, yep. checks you in, sends you a mobile key, no more plastic key, as you referenced in your, in your opening remarks, uh, and essentially you know, send you to the room. So really reimagining the overlay technology and, uh, and not having them swivel through multiple systems of record and having those use cases available in, in one single pane. Yeah. So that's for our associates. Wow. Yeah. And for our owners, it's all about capturing top line revenue. So we're not only the world's largest hospitality company, but we also have the world's largest golf, spa, and restaurants all under one roof. We have 50 Michelin star restaurants in our across 9,000 hotels. So we want to take and merchandise room products and non-room products, which are, we're not able to do today. And a non-room product, an example could be if you want an early checkout or uh, you want to do a late checkout, uh, early check-in or late checkout. Yeah. We want to be able to do those things and drive right. uh, revenue for the owners. So that's the vision and the value for it, the three customer You know, so I'm th as, you, as you're saying this, I'm, I'm thinking that so much of this is applicable to other industries. You know, in healthcare, guests or patients, associates or, or medical providers and, and, and people own, you know, lots of uh, almost franchise-like operations in large, in large healthcare systems. There's so much here about what your, trans your transformation that I think really applies to, to other industries. So with everything you just mentioned, um, what's your philosophy or uh, you know, approach? I mean, how do, you, how do you bring all of this to life and get every, all, everybody that you talked about as a stakeholder, how do you get that energized? Yeah, totally. You know, so while we talked about the digital and technology transformation, in my mind, our transformation is also two more things. It's a ways of working transformation. And more importantly, it's a cultural transformation. So at Marriott in global technology, our mission is to create services and products that our customers love, whether that customer is our guest, our associate, our owner and franchisee. So we start by instilling a culture of innovation first, then seed it with insanely talented people that are mission driven, bounded by a purpose, empower them and let the magic happen. So we're building an extraordinary team, Mike, that wakes up every single day thinking and obsessing about how technology can really transform Marriott and deliver greater value and unlock the business value for our customers. And we believe a future technology is, is definitely built in travel. We're looking at uh, really altering the landscape of this industry by doing that. That's fantastic. And as you said, I've been to your headquarters and experienced some of those meetings, and it really is a world-class team who has a technology-first, transformation-first mindset. So, you know, speaking of tech, obviously, so much dialogue here about AI in, in the world, um, and particularly about its, its practical value. Uh, can you tell us about your AI approach and, and where you see it applying to your business? Yeah, absolutely. Great question. Um, classic AI and ML uh, have been in the works at Marriott for a very long time. But our journey with generative AI really started in the summer of 23, where we held a 48-hour uh, code fest, essentially a hackathon, uh, for associates uh, to come together and think about using Gen AI and produce 40,000 lines of code across various use cases. Since then, we really formalized that practice in, and assembled a cross-functional leader group across Marriott and created what we call a Gen AI studio. 
So the mission of our studio is to empower associates, delight guests, and drive business value with reliable and responsible AI application. So we collected a bunch of use cases across the company, over hundreds of use cases, and we categorized them across four major themes. The first one is analyze. So we sit on petabytes of data at Marriott, and we want to really mine the insights from the data that we collect in, in order to do a, you know, affect a faster decision making. So that's the first theme. The second theme is create. So content is still king. So we operate about 16,000 websites uh, in 25 different languages worldwide. And today, a lot of the content is stitched manually. So we're taking use cases that we can automate the use of AI, Gen AI, specifically create the content, personalize the content at various touch points, and really unleash that in the create segment. The third is discover. And I talked a little bit about natural language search and changing the search paradigm. Use cases around, around search and discoverability are, are in this uh, third theme. And the last one is connect. So we're looking at use cases that will take our knowledge worker and get them closer to the data in such a way that we can have actionable insights again. So four larger themes, but we're not stopping there. So as we're experimenting with AI, here's the biggest learning that we've got. The learning is we were coupling each use case against a model and against the technology. And what we didn't want to do is proliferate that point-to-point -point model to use case interaction. So we're now investing in a horizontal platform that will have model library, prompt libraries, a model hub, maybe experiment with vector databases, also put in small language models because we have a lot of content, yep. and then really deliver that cohesive experience. So I would love for you guys to check out in your, at your leisure uh, our implementation of AI at scale in our homes and villas by Marriott. So check it out and please give us your feedback. I, I, think, I think you're absolutely right on small language models. I mean, there's so much applicability. And, and while large language models have done a tremendous job at consuming all the data that's publicly available on the internet, a lot of data that you have, that healthcare systems have, that utilities have, is not public data. That's so right. uh, small language models will be, I think, uh, an industry uh, norm as we go forward. David, I want to thank you for your leadership, your partnership, and for really helping us all learn so many lessons that we can apply across the industry ecosystem. Thank you. Great Mike. to have Pleasure's you. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.